good afternoon. My name is uh, Morgan, and uh, my presentation is more theoretical and explana uh, ex exploratory. Uh, I'm going to present a brief and preliminary overview of an uh, ongoing review article I am currently preparing about the neural circuits of uh, motivation in intellectually gifted individuals. So for several decades, uh, studies have shown that uh, high, gen high, cog high general cognitive ability, or G, is related to a broad set of positive social uh, courage, such as uh, greater educational achievement or better mental and physical health. In this sense, uh, gifted individuals can be seen as po potential outstanding creators of modern culture. However, a few research exists about how the brains uh, work. This object, the, the objective of this review is to contribute to the understanding of how these efficient brains work and in particular how motivational brain circuits influence and shape learning. So the idea behind is to gain a clear picture of the neural circuits of uh, motivation to support learning motivation uh, for every student gifted or not. Here, uh, I listed some of the main cognitive and personality traits we can see in the gifted and especially in the gifted children. And uh, the three first one, intensity to learn, or also known as rage to master, intrinsic motivation, increased curiosity, and the fact that they are more task-oriented and can have strong interest are uh, particularly manifest in, the child, in gifted children and relate to uh, motivation and curiosity. So now the question we can ask is what in their brains explains this intensity we see and what are the neural basis of learning motivation? First, uh, let's have a look of the, at the developing gifted brain and how it may differ from the non-gifted brains. Uh, briefly, the, studies, uh, the few studies that have studied this topic show that uh, we see different uh, difference in a different developmental course of high orders brain regions. In particular, we can see a precocious development of frontal cortical areas, uh, enhanced uh, activation of the frontal parietal network, uh, enhanced interhemispheric connectivity and synchronized, synchronized recruitment of both hemispheres, and also a better integration between different areas in the brain. However, the etiology of giftedness and uh, of these dif brain differences remains unclear. S several researchers have explored an hypothesis e initially developed by Geshwin and Galaburda in 1987, which is uh, a prenatal exposure to increased level of testosterone in the second and third semesters. And this abnormal, um, this uh, increased exposure could cause abnormal neural migra migration and um, that cause, uh, among other things, a more intensive level, uh, more intensive um, right hemisphere development and also a better interhemispheric coordination uh, via an unusually developed corpus callosum. The second and third semester are important because they <coughs> correspond to a period of refinement of fine grain uh, neurological processes. So now let's have a look at the general neural circuits of motivation. Uh, first, defining motivation can be a significant challenge since there is no clear uh, common definition or common conceptual framework across the different fields that study motivation. However, from a neuroscience perspective, uh, mot motivation can be seen as uh, the desire to perform an action with two components. One, the direction to a positive stimulus, and two, the activated seeking phase. The incentive salience, also known as wanting process, uh, is part of the motivational salience. It's a complex cognitive process mediated by the new dopaminergic component of the mesocortical limbic systems that elicit uh, seeking behaviors in response to reward stimuli. <coughs> and while it's regulated by several regions in the brain, the two key structures are the ventral striatum, which include the nucleus accumbens, and also the amygdala responsible for the detection of motivational salience. Therefore, uh, higher levels of motivation result in greater dopaminergic activity. And for Barrage, the pioneer of this theory, 
dop dopamine signals are a consequence and not a cause of learning phenomena happening elsewhere in the brain. And, yep. Finally, uh, several studies have highlighted the fact that the circuit, uh, circuit prefrontal cortex ventral striatum and ventral pallidum fits the requirements of a neural uh, mechanism by which motivations get translated into action. And uh, the more I read, read about motivation in the gifted, the more I got curious about curiosity. Curiosity can be defined as the intrinsic desire to learn or obtain information. And uh, the literature of this topic has uh, increased with uh, machine learning research, especially. So curiosity requires the concerted action of two systems. First, the dopaminergic systems implicated in value and motivation, and second, the cortical systems mediating two uh, key cognitive processes that are memory and attention. So curiosity recruits the reward system, and interactions between the reward system and hippocampus seems to put the brain in a state which you are more likely to learn and to retain information. And what attracts our attention seems not to be the mere presence of information, but rather the extent to which uh, the information uh, confirms or violates our prior expectations. And um, curiosity also involves a coexistence of two conflicting drives. First, on the one, uh, one hand, the desire to reduce uncertainty on a short time scale versus um, um, intellectual risk-taking to increase uncertainty in order to learn on longer time scales. So motivated in the gifted, uh, what we know so far, in a nutshell, we have seen that um, gifted children uh, present a greater efficiency in areas critical for working memory, attention, cognitive control, and fluid intelligence, and also they have a precocious development on frontal cortices. Um, so, uh, among the few studies that I have tried to specifically uh, study the neuro neuro neurological ba basis of uh, giftedness, uh, Kozio and colleagues have, um, have been interested in studying the neurobiological roots of the rage to master, shown by many individual gifted. So, what they found is that the cerebellum and st uh, striatum ventral uh, ganglia are key structures to this um, neuro uh, rage to master. And they also shown that these children probably would have uh, hyper hyperactivity in the circuitry uh, prefrontal cortex basal ganglia cerebellum, uh, which could explain their strong interest for specific topics, their over-focused attention, and the enhanced motivation we often see. And finally, uh, an increasing number of research are now studying the role of the codex nucleus in high intelligence, given its involvement in the striatal dopaminergic gating system, controlling the concentration in dopamine in prefrontal cortex. So what is next? Uh, it is the very preliminary stages of this ongoing review article. So the best is yet to come, but uh, I'd like to leave you with some uh, future avenues for research in this field, especially the importance of individual-based approach in brain imaging research of intelligence, the real need for developmental studies uh, to study specifically um, how the brain changes over time, and finally, an interesting study would be the studies of outliers, such as the highly and profoundly gifted, and also autistic individuals presenting a uh, very strong interest for specific topics. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, if you have questions, I try to answer it.